they don't make athletes like me anymore. I was crazy about sports when I saw that fullback score. The crowd went wild. What a roar. In baseball, they put me at shortstop. I was short, but I, I, I couldn't stop. Anything that hit my glove, I, I was going to surely drop. In my turn to bat, I was beamed in the head. Everybody thought I was surely dead. The coach sent me to center field, though I don't know why. I couldn't see center field, a ground or a pop fly. So I had a growth spurt. Shot up to five feet tall. So I thought I'd try out for some of that basketball. Yeah. Well, I, I couldn't play defense, dribble, jump or run, but I made up for these things by having lots of fun. I couldn't shoot, so I couldn't score, but they don't make athletes like me anymore. With sports, you learn so much. If it's too hot, get out of the kitchen. Yeah. And an unwashed, unwashed shock strap can cause a lot of itching, man. It's where you're going, not where you've been. It's deja vu all over again. Go to other folks' funerals or they won't go to yours. I usually take a two-hour nap from one to four. And a nickel ain't worth a dime no more. It's the size of fighting the dog. Not the size of the dog in the fight. And not only are some athletes ambidextrous, some can use their left as good as their right. He's amphibious. He hits from both sides of the plate. Take it with a grain of salt. Each Napoleon has his Watergate. Our football team won championships until they graduated. Then all those teams they'd been thrashing, well, they all retaliated. We won a couple of games my junior year, though I saw a tear in the coach's eye when I told him I'd be back next year. Every one of those coaches started to cry. Danny Matheny and I played football together. Some say we had the grace of a giraffe. He always had a weird sense of humor, though he did make a few folks laugh. I saw him later and we reminisced a bit. I guess it was 50 years or more. He said, you know, we don't, they don't make athletes like us anymore. And then I wonder what could produce such unbridled hilarity. Could it be an undiagnosed tumor? I often find someone's brevity irksome. And there simply ain't no explanation for somebody else's humor.